Hi guys, it's Alex and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, make sure to subscribe. I am currently hosting two giveaways, so I'm super excited. And today I cannot wait to share my story with you. I never knew when to film this. I kind of just wanted to talk to you guys and tell you my adoption story. It's quite clear in my videos, vlogs, everything that I am adopted. I have two moms, they are gay, and I have a whole separate video on that. So if you want to go check it out, I'll leave it linked down below. Today. I'm going to be talking about my adoption. I didn't know if it was better to have a larger audience or a smaller audience when talking about my adoption story, but I have seen all over YouTube people sharing their stories. So I guess today we are going to talk about my story. So I was in an orphanage for one year. I was one years old when my parents, Sherry and Valerie, came to get me. I don't remember anything from China. I'm adopted from China. I also forgot to add that my parents actually did go to China physically to get me. Um, I don't speak Mandarin. Um, I don't really remember anything from the orphanage. Um, I do know I was left on a busy road in Fujian province, I believe. I guess someone found me on the side of the road and took me to the orphanage in Shaman where I was adopted. I've always told people I was adopted because clearly my parents and I do not look the same at all. There was never a day where my parents sat me down and were like, you're adopted. I mean, I always knew I was adopted. Sometimes I actually forget that I'm adopted. To tell me I was adopted, apparently my parents read me this book about when you were in China. And I don't really remember anything about the book, but it basically just explained why I was adopted and everything. I seriously don't remember at all. I believe I was given up or abandoned because in China, they're only allowed to have one child. And that was the rule back in the day, like when I was born. So probably the 1990s. And I don't know the rules today, but it was very, very big that you could only have one child. And in Chinese culture, they really emphasize having baby boys because in their culture, the boy will take care of them. So they're always wanting baby boys. Um, and obviously I'm a girl, so I was given up. Many people ask me, do you want to meet your real parents? When people say real parents, they mean biological parents. A lot of people get those terms mixed up, but my parents are Sherry and Valerie, and those are the women that raised me, so they are my parents. But my biological parents, my birth mother, um, a lot of people ask if I want to meet them or find them, and to be honest, I have no deep desire to. The only thing I tell people is I would like to know who I look like. I think it would be very interesting to know who I look like. Do I look more like the male or the female? And that's just me being nosy. I probably couldn't understand them. Obviously my parents are gay, so a lot of the time people are wondering like, is Valerie considered your mother or Sherry? I don't know the rules today, but back then a gay couple could not adopt. So Sherry is my legal mother. Um, and then in Ohio, Valerie was made my guardian, but I guess now she's like my stepmom because my parents got married. So Sherry is my legal mother if we're looking from a legal standpoint. I was also adopted with seven other girls. So we call ourselves the Shaman Sisters. One of them has been in one of my videos. So I highly recommend going and watching that video. I will link it down below. Her name is Emily and she also lives in Florida, which is so cool. She's from Chicago. So it's just like really cool that she's here. The Shaman Sister group basically stayed in contact because our parents stayed in contact and every year we would do an activity and travel together. And we called ourselves the Shaman Sisters because the orphanage was in Shaman. We all are the same age. I'm the youngest, which is really funny. We always did things together from the time we were babies up until we graduated high school. We used to have a reunion every year, which was really fun to see everybody. And they were kind of like an extended family. Those seven girls were the very first people I ever met. Basically when we were babies, we were in the orphanage together. And it's just a 
really cool concept and I am happy that our parents have stayed in contact for this long so the kids can stay in contact and with Facebook and social media it really really helps. A lot of people wonder if I'm very open about my adoption. I am completely open and I will answer any questions you may have. Some people this subject's a little touchy for them. It's actually really funny which I might make a whole separate video about but I have a mark on my shoulder. It kind of looks like a tattoo and we joke around saying it looks like a tattoo and I also have a birthmark on the inside of my leg. So we have this like theory my parents and I that like my birth parents put that on me so if like I wanted to try to find them they could easily pick me out. If I put like an ad in the paper in China they would be like oh yeah that's our biological daughter because of the birthmark and the little tattoo mark on my shoulder. I don't know, that's just a theory we have. I guess there's another question I get asked, do you ever wanna go back to China? And I would, but for the tourist experience, I would like to see where I was found just because, you know, why not? It would just be like really cool to see that and experience that. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, my parents have always been super open with me about it. I think that's why I'm super open about adoption and this subject. So if you guys have any questions, you can definitely leave them in the comments down below. Um, I don't know too much about domestic adoption. I really only know about international adoption. I'm planning on making a little series out of this because I feel like it will share a little bit more with you guys and give you another side of myself that I don't really share a lot about. If you guys are adopted, let me know also down below because I'd love to connect with you guys and I've gotten a few comments in the past saying that you guys are adopted and I think that's awesome. Anyway, give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.